Sup y'all, bringing you guys another video. So, if you guys didn't know, or if you guys don't know yet, on the last day of the year, on the 31st of December, we have a big fight taking place over in Japan. Japan usually does big events on the last day of the year, and we have this fight between Kazuto Ayoka and Kose Tanaka. They recently had their weigh-ins, and both fighters made weight. Both fighters made the limit of 115 pounds and both fighters as you guys can see it look like they're ready to go 115 is the limit for the uh, junior bantamweight division so um yeah junior bantamweight title on the line for the WBO which uh, Ioka will be defending in this fight and uh, yeah as you guys can see both fighters look like they are, are oh let me turn off that alarm sorry about that as you guys can see both fighters look like they're in great shape looks like they're ready to go we have ourselves a fight. We have ourselves a fight. Um, yeah, I mean, what can what else can I say? I'm I'm just looking forward to a great night of boxing. Hopefully, over in Tokyo, everything will be good. Uh, I believe, to my understanding, there will be no spectators. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how things are like when it comes to COVID restrictions over in Japan. Um, but it's just unfortunate that over here in the states. Uh, no major network whether it's the zone top rank or espn or pbc networks you know no major network picked this fight up which is unfortunate man i feel like uh one of these networks should at least picked up these fights over in japan because every year at the last day of the year they always host a big event and it's just unfortunate that uh, they didn't pick this fight up but it is what it is um i made a prediction video not long ago talking about who i think will win uh it's a tough one, man. This fight's a tough one. Ayoka and Tanaka are both multiple champions in different weight divisions. Ayoka is a defending champion. Tanaka is moving up in weight to try to conquer this division. It's a fight that uh, arguably is 50-50. Um, but I am leaning towards the younger Tanaka. I, I feel like the, the, the youth um, is on his side that uh, will help him... Uh, Youth will be the key to victory in this fight, and Tanaka is a younger fighter compared to Ayoka. Ayoka has been in a lot of great fights, you know, a lot more experience. Uh, naturally, the bigger guy, but it's just tough for me to go against Tanaka. Um, looking at some comments, Phil M said Tanaka will score ten round TKO. Yo, that would be crazy if he he stops Ayoka. Ayoka has never been stopped. Yes, he lost twice, but never been stopped before. Uh, Tomo Scott said, I feel like Kose outworks him with footwork. If Ayoka wins, it will be my, be by drawing him into a brawl like Shokimura did. Yeah, this fight will definitely have a lot of uh, action-packed moments in my opinion. Both fighters have the style to deliver an action-packed fight. Anthony 06 said, hopefully I can watch this fight. Winner should definitely fight the winner of Estrada Chocolatito 2 in 2021 or Jerwin Ankas. And uh, yeah, that would be cool if uh, the winner fight eventually fights. Um... You know, Estrada or Chocolatito. That would be... Or uh, Ankaas. Ankaas is a pretty good fight too. Hopefully, man. That's the hope, right? That's the hope. Um, it would be cool to have an undisputed champion uh, for this weight division by the end of 2021. Uh, Pablo Escobar said... <laughs> Pablo Escobar. Kose's defense is not good, but he will be faster hand speed and footwork and foot speed. Volume and body shots will win this him this one. Um, yeah, defensively, Tanaka isn't... You know, uh, Tanaka and Kose, Ko well, that's the same same person. Tanaka and Ayoka aren't really the most defensive fighters out there, but um, you know, they come to fight. They always come to fight. They have the the, the style to make. Like I said, they have the style to make this a, a very entertaining fight. Uh, Monk said a four weight a four weight world champion versus a three weight world champion. Best fight of the year. Yeah, this is arguably the best fight of the year in terms of what both fighters have achieved. Definitely uh, on paper. It's a very damn good, very damn good fight. That's why it's very unfortunate that no one here in the states, not a single network, picked this up. And I think there's a, a website that you can pay like two, three dollars to watch it in good quality. You know, not streaming, illegal streaming quality. Uh, man, it just sucks. But you know, it is what it is. I guess. Um, Richard Kim said, "I got Tanaka by super close decision." I can see that. I can see that happening. Man, looks like everybody. Everybody looks like most of it. Everybody's going for Tanaka. Uh, 
Jerry Castillo has uh, Kazudo by four round TKO. Mihal Suf Letel said, uh, "Let's go, Koze, K O Z. See what he did there, man." Mihai Suf Letel. I, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name. So um, so yeah uh, what I mean I'm just looking forward to a great night of boxing at this point. I mean, I wish uh, everybody a happy New Year. Hopefully, uh, you all stay safe. Don't party too hard. Don't gather too much. Uh, so you all know there's a coronavirus going on. Um, and uh, yeah, have a happy, happy, advanced happy, happy New Year. Because right now it's the 30th as I'm making this video. So it's not New Year's Eve yet. But it will be soon. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think about boat fighters? Uh, you know, your final comments and everything. Uh, like I said, boat fighters look like they're ready to go. Um, and uh, yeah, good luck to boat fighters. Good luck to both fighters. May the best man win. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, what are your final thoughts on this fight? Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please and like always have a great day. Alright, thanks.